occurring in infants, children, as well as in youngsters is hydronephrosis due to ureteropelvic junction obstruction. UPJ means that, that the starting point of the ureter at the junction of the pelvis and ureter is called ureteropelvic junction. Sometimes by birth itself that will be very narrow, so that urine will not come into that. And so as a result of this obstruction, the kidney will slowly balloon up, become enlarged and sometimes become ballooned out like that, kidney will be stretched and it will be totally gone, destroyed. So that requires evaluation and treatment. A simple test and an ultrasound scan can show that kidney is dilated. Then by using other tests, we can find out exactly is it significant or not. If significant obstruction is there, that requires treatment. The treatment is a surgical correction called uh, pyloplasty. That will excise that narrow segment, spatulate, identify the good ureter and spatulate it, and it is connected into the pelvis. All redundant pelvis should be excised and then tapered and connected into the ureter. That is called pyloplasty. Previously, that requires a very major open surgery to repair this condition, but now it can be completely repaired by using laparoscopic pyloplasty. That is only two, three small puncture marks are there. Through that, this laparoscopic instrument is introduced into the abdominal cavity. We can visualize it. We can mobilize it and see it and complete repair can be done using this instrument through laparoscopically. And that can be the advantage is that patient doesn't require a major surgery, major wound, pain is less, hospital stay is much less. He that will recover within a few days, then he can resume his routine normal activities in about one or two weeks time. And the results are excellent when compared to open surgery. Without these uh, any complications, morbidity is also much less. So nowadays all the patients opt for this keyhole surgery, laparoscopic surgery, by which we can repair all these congenital obstructive symptoms of the kidney and the ureter.